Yo, welcome back to King's channel. Today, it's our new episode of my channel. This episode called I Have a Question. I H A G Q. Sorry. I I H A Q. I have a question. Episode number one. This episode, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Jesse a question that has been put into my head for a while and still can't figure out the reason what the fuck is the question. Okay? Anyway, so today is my first episode. My question to Jesse is really simple. Alright, Jesse, ready ready for my questions for the day? What? My question is coming from um a Taiwanese song. A singer called Lala. Her song, it goes like this. No, 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 或者让朋友陪我都不好意思的，我说不爱你，你也就相信了，这样好吗？好吗？好吗？好吗 ？No, I don't get it. I don't freaking get it. All right, listen, this song. Is telling the guy that I tell you I don't like, I don't love you, but you just believe it. Okay. Right. Why that, not? That's what it says, right? Yeah. And what the fuck? If you still love the guy, how come you just tell the guys that you don't love him and you blame the guy that take it seriously from your words? I don't freaking get it. Please, Jesse. Explain to me what the hell is this song singing? If, if let's say, if you still love a guy, how come you just blame the guys that you you say you don't love the guy, but when guys take it so seriously and you say, how come you believe it? You know why? what's wrong with you? What's wrong with the female? What's wrong with your brain? Please fucking tell me. We always have the. Meaning behind what you say, like what? different meaning behind what you say. Oh, okay, what we say. okay. You you tell me you always always have a different meaning by the not the literal words that you say. Yeah. But what the fuck if you still love that guy? How? Why can't you just tell that guy you still love him? Because you want to test his reaction. If he cares about you, then when you say I don't love you, then. Then you will feel sad, feel disappointed because, yeah, because you say you don't like her. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like girls are just. You want you say something in opposite direction. Just you still love the guy. Just say you love him, and you say, "Oh, I don't love you." And then when guys say, "Oh, really? Okay," and you just you feel so sad. And then, what the fuck? You just you you girl just like to、Maybe、make yourself feel sad. It happened. It happened based based on their previous story or history. Just you don't know what happened before, so it caused all of this. You cannot just so, judge it by the certain questions, certain sentences. I mean, like that's this kind of questions was basically generated. All by the females. You, you somehow want to have a better communication with someone, but you just say things in a completely opposite direction, and you test. You say you're testing guys' mind whether they actually love you back by telling by telling him that you don't love him. What the freak is this kind of What's wrong with your brain? I still don't get it. Because 
we're too small, so you can get it. All right. This is today's I have a question episode from Kings to ask Jesse a question, and also Jesse want to bring you guys a new, a really happy news. What's happening, Jesse? I went shopping today. Oh, you went shopping? What kind of shop did you go? I bought jeans. You bought jeans? How come you get jeans in Canada? Don't you feel like it's more profitable? No, it's more like more making sense if you bought jeans from Taiwan because Taiwan's jeans are way more cheaper than the ones in Canada. You told about us. You told about everyone. You told everyone that you we are so poor. We need more saving, more money, and you just bought some jeans in Canada to just spend more money. Why can't you thought about it in Taiwan and you buy some jeans in Taiwan? Because uh, in my work, in my job, I have to, we have to wear black every day. Then I work five days a week. Then I don't have that many jeans, and it's not really expensive. Because Why not just buy one get one fifty percent off? Why not just wash your jeans after your work and you can wear it the next day? Because we are not, we don't have. We cannot do laundry every day. That's why we are moving to a different <laughs> place in Metro Town next next month. Yeah, next yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. You wanna eat? All right. It's ready. All right. We Everything's are about to ready. have dinner right now on the tables. We got some red beans pro soup. That's what I make, and uh, Jessie loves it so much. That's why she's still with me, dating with me, just because of this red bean soup. And then um, we got some sour pork. No, not sour pork. That's Sweet and honey, ha ha honey garlic chicken from Men to Walk. That's the place where Jesse works. He also got some like cabbage, uh, carrots, broccoli, all the really much sauces, salty things. Really nice to have. Rice together, and then on the other side, we have curry, and then some potatoes and carrots, just made by Jesse. Such a beautiful dishes. And then on the other side, we have white rice. This is a Japanese white rice. Japanese, like this one, really tasty. This is called hen henuki. Hanyuki, Hanyuki rice, Japanese rice, really nice. And also, by the way, the oil that we use is avocado oil. Seems to be like the most healthy oil type people can use to cook. Not even like fried rice or uh, fried noodles, uh, egg fried rice, whatever rice you're gonna cook. This kind of oil is really nice. They in they contains. Um, like omega-3 fatty acids, really nice for your body. And then also, after our dishes, we are gonna have some mango, which is pretty toxic. You shouldn't have it for too much. I had it one last night, it was so freaking not tasty. But I think today, it's getting softer, so I think I can give it a try. Also, I got some mandarin, providing some Really healthy vitamin C. And that's basically what we have. And we are gonna have a dinner about a minute later. So, Jesse, anything you wanna say to our viewers? Anything you wanna express about your happiness inside of you? You just gonna dance like that? Would you mind filming me doing a handstand from your position? All right, that's. Guys, that's what you do. Everyone should do a handstand before they start having their dinner, all right? Let's show you guys how you, how you do it. Make sure that you have your shoes off, and then you just find a wall. Make sure you don't have a, like a, you know, like frame of the pictures on it, because you would like, you know, make it maybe something drops, all right? Ready? One, two, three, go. Ah, oh, don't, don't, just six seconds. That one second, then not a bad one. All right, let's try one more time, all right? One, two, three, go! Alright, make sure you 
bodies is in the line and then like hold it for at least 30 seconds to one minute. Make sure you push hard enough. Don't bend your ink, don't bend your elbow. Make sure your whole line is close and then like your whole body is just like a line. And it's better if you can actually leave the wall for a little bit to try to balance your whole body by not relying too much on the wall. So eventually you can you can like do a hands free handstand. Okay, I'm about to not able to hold it. <sighs> Alright, that's it the video for today. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.